What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today I'm excited to finally talk about a line lock setup for the 6th gen Camaro. You guys know I like doing burnouts, I like going to quarter mile. Currently, yes, I will do some road course. Yes, line lock won't really be useful for road course. But for those burnouts, those shows, uh, definitely quarter mile and eighth mile drag racing, a line lock setup comes in very handy. Now, all you ZL1 owners out there, you guys are lucky, you get this stock from factory. I hate you. But our SS guys, it's been a long time coming. Again, no one has made a kit for the 6th gen until now, and that's SJM Manufacturing. So I have been kind of listening and watching. They kind of announced that they were working on this kit long ago. I got really excited, it got really quiet, and then I didn't, I kind of lost track of it, and I just kind of was sitting there like searching the web of, hey, line lock setups for 6th gen Camaro. No one had one that was specific or custom made for our car. Yeah, you could buy all the stuff you need and kind of put together one but it wasn't customized and you had to get crazy and that no one wants to do that so sjm just recently I, I shouldn't say recently they rolled out this kit quite a few months ago uh but i finally saw it and so i reached out to them um and they uh they told me all about it you know i was just really interested i wanted to find out about it what they did what was included in the kit and uh, I paid for a kit, they shipped it out to me, and I have it here, so um, they also sent me a couple extra things that I wanna show you about, or show you and talk about, um, that are also things that you can get uh, to your liking. So let's go ahead and check out the kit. Okay, so line lock kit. First, well, I'm gonna set these to the side right now, and we'll get to that in a second. So first things first, there's a couple things that comes in the kit, and I'm just gonna pull these out. Yes, I pre-opened the box because I wanted to make sure everything was in there uh, before I did this. So obviously in the kit, you get your instruction booklet, you get your uh, preform lines, you get some of your micro toggle master switch, um, you get your, was it micro moment, momentary? I think these are momentary switches. You guys could yell at me if I'm saying that wrong. LED light, you do get a fuse with the holder and a couple of butts, obviously wires. You get your solenoids. Um, yeah, this is ABS compatible. Uh, this thing is amazing. So this is the this is the standard kit. This is what you're gonna get. It's under 300 bucks for a full line lock setup that is li literally plug and play. Yes, you will have to get some brake fluid. Yes, you'll potentially have to bleed your brakes, but that's a small thing to have to do for this setup. Now, the one thing that I do wanna highlight that they sent me, uh, just because he wasn't quite sure, like maybe I might want different lights. They do have a couple other LED options button options and stuff available on their site but one of the coolest things and this actually has me reshooting this video so apologies i've actually had this product for a little bit um and it was the excitement of this bad boy so you're like what the heck is that well this is kind of a almost all in one button so this is something that will integrate directly into your cigarette lighter I don't smoke, I don't ever use my cigarette lighter for power, so there's no need for it, um, but it has the SJM uh, logo on it, basically it sits right in there, the cap will close, but what it will allow me to do is control this whole contraption from this button, and so I'm really excited for that, and I'm gonna go into more detail, and obviously the crazy wiring involved for this uh, during the install, but I will be going with this button over the whole multi different separate LED, separate toggle, all that stuff. So I, I could be mistaken. I do think I still need this um, micro, uh, mom, or not monetary switch, the micro switch. Um, this one, I, I could be wrong. I gotta look at the instructions that came with this bad boy, but um, yeah, super excited for it. But <clears throat> line lock. Uh, again, the install's not too difficult. It has a really clean install. I will say SJM does a really good job in highlighting everything in their instructions and it would help if I wasn't holding it upside down. Um, but they go, they have beautiful pictures. Yeah, they're black and white, but they have the colored versions on their website. Um, they do go through all the different toggles of what uh, the lines are for, where they go, how it all goes. And the other side is, they give you a beautiful wiring diagram. Now, this diagram is for the switches and lights and stuff that come with it. He did send me a new diagram, which would come with this uh, for the connection of this button. So that all being stated, line lock. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited for this. It's, it's a, 
feels like a high quality. He's not using cheap wire. He's not using cheap switches or anything like that. Again, um, connectors and all that stuff. I'll probably go the route of soldering wires instead of using a lot of the connectors, make it a little bit more professionally installed. Um, you guys know I've used ghetto uh, wire clips and whatnot in the past, but we'll, we'll use as much of the stuff that he sent with it as possible so I can show you exactly how to install it with what he has. And if we do solder the wires together and uh, heat shield them and stuff like that a little bit better, I'll highlight where those are and what parts you were supposed to use in those place. You guys know me, I'm just a fanatic about that. So obviously there's wiring for the two solenoids and then again, all the custom formed lines. So it's a really easy install. It will take a little bit of time, but uh, yeah, line lock. I think I've said line lock like 17 times in this video, but again, you can see the kit. It's not too overcomplicated. Uh, again, like I, I highlighted, I will probably need a little bit more um, brake fluid and uh, blinker fluid. No, I'm kidding, not blinker fluid, uh, <laughs> to do the install. I am gonna try to do this install as much as I can by myself. Again, you guys know I'm not a mechanic, uh, and I do try to do the things that I can, like external body parts or cold air intakes or you know exhaust pieces or <laughs> spoilers. Like That stuff's easy for me, but when it comes to mechanical items, especially when it comes to braking and you know, around bleeding brakes, if that has to happen, which I do believe it will have to happen, I get really nervous. I really do. And that's mainly because like, you mess up your brakes, you can mess up your, like, that's your life. Like you go to hit your brakes, like, and they're not there, like that's a problem. So you don't want to get air bubbles and all that stuff in your brake lines. And uh, I'm going to have Mike, he's going to be coming over and he's going to assist me with this install. Um, and I hope I'm not going to have to say he did the whole install. I would like to do as much of it as I possibly can to show you guys how to do this with the assistance of Mike. And hopefully if this is something you guys are interested in, this video or the next video coming out for the install will be helpful for you. So. Uh, I just really wanted to create this video to g give you some awareness of the product and what's happening with the car. Uh, have a couple other install videos and guides. I do have the drive shaft video still coming uh, for the install there. Uh, having a couple things going on there that I don't think are related to the drive shaft. I put a brand new drive shaft loop in there and I believe one of the balancing weights is actually hitting it. Either know we put the proper spacers that came with the drive shaft loop. Um, I, I don't know, man. I just, there's a lot of things kind of going on. Uh, there's still a few other things with the car that's happening. I still have to do the install guide for the wing, even though it's installed, I'm going to be doing a proper install guide to show you guys how to install it. Um, it's not hard at all. So yeah, lots of things coming. Uh, and that's just a few things. So yeah. So details around the line lock down below in the description. Sorry if I'm like tired. I kind of have like a congested nose. I have been just out of it. Um, I haven't been sleeping very well. So like always, I look like a dead zombie or a raccoon, whatever you guys want to call. A lot of you guys think I'm high all the time. I do not do drugs. So yeah, I'm just tired. I got to get more sleep and I'm trying and I'm drinking more water and I'm trying to eat more healthy. I think the healthy side of things is uh, also just a big judgment, but yes, I'm ram I'm rambling, but thanks for watching guys. As always, if you guys enjoyed the content, smash that subscribe button. If not, likes, comment, shares are appreciated. Uh, you could be the first, if you subscribe, you can be the first to know when the video goes live for the install of this bad boy. Uh, we are doing the install tomorrow. Um, tomorrow as in when I'm recording this video and hopefully this video will, the install video will follow this one, the unboxing video. So yeah. Okay. I'm done. So, but yeah, SJM manufacturing, all their details are down below in the description. And until next time, guys, I hope to see you on the road.